Okay, we've had our lunch and we're back. Welcome everyone back. We have our quorum, so we'll call the meeting back to order. And uh, the Bruce County Highways meeting back to order. And we're moving down to action item 3D, Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. And we'll turn it over to Brian. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, before you is a report, and it's a bit of an, uh, an update of what transpired back in April. We've been contacted by the group that are proposing the waterfront, Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. And at that time, back in April, we'd made some, uh, some notes and comments on some uh, sections of the trail that they should uh, reconsider. And so we've tried to summarize uh, the areas they've reconsidered uh, in, in the report. Um, and if I can offer, we do have some more mapping attached to the report is the plan that they sent us concerning the West Road, which we'll deal with separately later. But if I can offer, I know we make a whole bunch of comments. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We, we make a, a bunch of comments in the report about a variety of roads uh, that, that we wish you to uh, acknowledge uh, so uh, they become a reference as part of the waterfront uh, trail and for us to therefore uh, place the signs uh, that they would provide us. So um, if I think, uh, well, I'm sure Donna is handing out um, uh, three pages. And if we start on the first page, and uh, at the top of the page is the south end of Bruce County along the shoreline. At the top of the page shows how uh, they're proposing uh, coming into Lucknow on County Road 1, going to Holyrood, which is in green, in green, and then across County Road 6, which is in green, uh, towards... Uh, I forget the name of the road. There's the Shoreline Road in Huron Kinloss. Lake Range Road. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Meyer. Uh, so, and then north on Lake Range Road until you get to our Road 23. And on the top diagram, it's on the top diagram, it shows that it goes to Lauren Beach. And th then it leaves the county road system. And I apologize, the, the map's a little difficult to read in the sense that there's a variety of different sections and we have to take snapshots off their website uh, in order to provide it. So uh, the top page is the south end of the county. On the uh, top of the first page, on the bottom of the first page, is our Bruce Road 33 uh, because uh, there's a gap in there where they're not on county roads. So naturally at Bruce Power they get onto road, Bruce Road 33 and at the bottom of the page you see the jogs in Bruce Road 33 as you come up towards uh, McGregor, McGregor, no, uh, Bruce Dale Conservation Area. So the bottom of the, the first page shows how they take the road 33 up until a concession road in Concord and then they go along the shoreline. And so then they've been working with Concord uh, concerning that route. Then if you flip on the second page, at the top of the page, uh, you, you see that Bruce Dale Conservation Area. Uh, where they've gone off of Road 33, and then they go to the Words of the Lake, then they come back to Bruce Road 33, up that top, then the picture on the top of the page, then up, up past the, the green area, which is McGregor Point Provincial Park, on Bruce Road, Road 33, and then they go down along the shoreline and leave Bruce Road 33. Then, uh, at the bottom of the second page, you see uh, Port Elgin and Southampton, which they take uh, internal roads and... In, uh, Port Elgin, Southampton. Then uh, on County Road 33 um, on Southampton, on the slide at the bottom of the second page, they take Bruce Road 13 all the way through to 2nd Avenue. Then they go across 2nd Avenue and South Bruce Peninsula, come up along the shoreline. And then uh, on the last page, the last page looks a lot more like the maps you've seen earlier today and you'll see in just a moment where they follow some of Bruce Road 13 until they come just south of Oliphant. And then they go over the, towards Oliphant and then they arrive uh, at their, their request that's included in the report and we come back onto uh, the slides here. So th this is where we had mentioned earlier on a different presentation where they, uh, the West Road starts right there. And uh, they acknowledge they want to be an elephant, then come out to the West Road on Spry Lake Road, and then follow our road, uh, the, uh, I guess it's Bryant Street and Huron Road, up towards Howdenvale. And then they take uh, Sunset Boulevard uh, in through uh, Pike Bay Road, or Little P uh, Pike Bay Road. Then they take our West Road to, to uh, Pike Bay Road. 
Um, and they're asking that we go to, uh, where well, they're asking our permission to acknowledge the sections of the West Road uh, uh, that they can identify them as part of the trail. <coughs> and uh, we are of the opinion that it's kind of a sensitive issue and I'd like the, uh, the ability to bring it forth at the public meetings in August to the communities of South Bruce Peninsula and Northern Bruce Peninsula uh, on how we would incorporate some of that request uh, into our proposed environmental assessment. Because you, you probably recall that one of the proposals was to, uh, to, to place a paved shoulder in conjunction with a solution on the West Road from Spry Lake Road up to uh, Cowell Road, the south limits of uh, Red Bay, where there's a higher volume of traffic at a higher speed. And then we wouldn't require paved shoulders uh, through Red Bay and Howdenville until we got to uh, Sunset Boulevard, which is again a low volume, uh, low speed road. And it's our opinion that we don't require a treatment through here on the West Road uh, uh, unless, uh, other than pavement, and that the low volume and modest speed, 70 kilometers per hour, would uh, be adequate for a, uh, 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 having the signs to identify the trail. So, Mr. Chairman, a little convoluted. Uh, I apologize. I think we're now able to go back to the recommendation. I just wondered if I missed something. So the trail, when I'm looking through the municipality of King Carden, it's going to go on County Road 23 out of King Carden, uh, right up to Lauren Beach, and then it'll go down, and then I, I miss where it goes after that. Yes, actually, I think it goes... Um, to Inver Huron. Yes, exactly. It'll then go Albert through the, the big gates there. I believe so, yes. So to go through the gates, then they're on to private property. Um, uh, quite possibly. Uh, I, th I thought Because that there's the a house right at the gates. Yeah, I so thought the trail people had been pursuing your people on, on some of these items, actually. I haven't heard anything. So I just was wondering, because um, the, the, thinking of the gates, there, there is a property that the gates is kind of splits, and so it's their property, and they're... <laughs> their lane goes around so that one end is north of the gates and one end is south of the gates. Okay. And so I'm just wondering where this trail's going to go. And the other question I have is in County Road 23, like there's 4,000 vehicles a day uh, up to Lauren Beach coming out, you know, with on the B line. So, so what we've done so is, is the KIPP trail yes. uh, is the logical thing, but. Um, so what they've done, I, they've been talking to your people. Uh, Which isn't built yet. Oh, you, yes, you're right. And actually, Carrie's been talking to both the, the trail association people as well as Concordon, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, the Great Lakes Waterfront uh, Trust will be doing, I believe, a delegation in September to Concordon regarding the proposed trails there. And they do include county trails, municipal trails, and rec and leisure trails for that. Yes, because you see, uh, ideally, our we want our trail because of the traffic, the yes. original Kip Trail to go down by the beach, but they couldn't get enough right of ways. So, of course, we've had you and Kelly and well informed to try to get it along yes. the, uh, if the I can county offer, road. Is, is what we've done between Concordon and uh, Lauren Beach is is they they're not going to identify our road as a trail. They're going to call it a gap. They've established gap signage to say there's a gap between uh, Kincardine and where they can get on the Lauren Beach and I think Kin Huron Road. It's mm -hmm. in around there somewhere. So yeah. we've recognized, we have not uh, permitted them to, or not acknowledged that they be on County Road 23. So okay. that's why if this report and your adoption of this report says they can't be on 23 until such time as that trail is built. So that, that's a bit of a gap. And uh, when it comes to uh, the gates, yeah, I was just wondering about the gates. I, I think I think Adam or Carrie and Adam, or actually, they've been talking to someone in your uh, group concerning that. That's kind of a sensitive issue. In yeah, but our we're music. we're not adopting that. We're we're not approving that here. Yeah. If we can. No, I just wonder. And, and if actually, you had more information, because uh, that's a big issue in our municipality about those gates being closed. And uh, like some people want them open year round, yep. and but right now they're closed all the time except if there's an emergency at Bruce Power. 
because the road north of the gates is not wide enough. It's just sort of like some of your west road, even worse in places. Ooh. So to going into Inverhuron. So we would have to rebuild that whole road to open the gates all the time. Yes. So, so I think that that issue is, is coming before your council shortly. Yes. Yes. I mean, I like the, the idea of, of the bike trail, but there, there just are some. It, it appears I've made a bit of an oversight in my presentation, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, uh, I also forgot to mention that in conjunction with the discussions uh, the department's having with the trail group, uh, they identified that uh, they're looking for municipal sponsorship and um, uh, the options are, are no sponsorship or uh, in lieu of the six municipalities um, each providing a modest contribution of $500 each that they would have the county as a leader who would contribute $2,000 and this is per year? $2,000 per year to acknowledge the, uh, the trail being in our county. And this report does address that and the recommendation uh, in the report is that the county move forth after we've, we've um, uh, spoke to all the six municipalities and I think Carrie you've spoken to half of them, about half of them so far uh, in various stages and with their approval, then the county would step forward and make the one contribution uh, as opposed to the six individuals. So this is making the recommendation that contingent upon the uh, acknowledgement of the six that the county uh, make the $2,000 annual contribution. I'll read the recommendation that the sections, the sections of the following Bruce County roads be utilized for the, for the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail. Bruce Road 1, 6, 9, 13, 25, 23, 33, and the West Road, and that the county approached the lower tier municipalities and pending municipal council endorsement of the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail offer to serve as a single window for the Great Lakes Waterfront Trail partnership fee and contribute $2,000 annually. We have a, set, a mover for that motion if possible. Moved by Mike, second by Ann. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion? Those opposed? That's carried. Holly, we're on to action item 3E, the Holly Rood shop property. Brian, attached. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we've been approached by members of the community in Hollyroot if we're interested in selling our shop in Hollyroot and attached to your package is an aerial uh, slide identifying the limits of the property. Our, our dome, it's a property that I think we use more so in the 50s and 60s, uh, is uh, beside the Hollyroot store and extends to the west to about there. So, Mr. Chairman, is uh, we're of the opinion that with the work that we've done on the Lucknow shop, uh, the storage facility adjacent to the Paisley uh, sand salt storage, and with the, the new Wyarden facility, we don't require this, uh, the old uh, dome facility for winter storage. So we're, we're suggesting that we make the first step in disposal, and the first step is uh, uh, that, that you agree uh, with the recommendation that it is surplus to the needs of the department. And then, the next, then, then with, with that, or, or may, there may be some feeling that there is some need, and if so, then we would hesitate. Uh, but if, uh, if you're of the opinion, uh, if you uh, accept the recommendation, then we'd go and appraise the property and then there's a, a whole bunch of steps that we take following the appraisal. But first off, we have to have the, 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 the interest to declare it surplus, and uh, then we appraise and return to you, and then we move through the process of uh, uh, selling surplus lands. Okay, I guess so. I agree that you've got to declare it surplus, but are you saying if we declare it surplus today, you're, you're going to go to the second step, or are you going to come back to, to committee and get direction for the second step. Come back to committee. Th this is the step before yeah. we get it appraised. As my opinion, it, should, yep. it needs to be offered to here in Kinloss if they have any interest in it. I think we've, we've talked to here in Kinloss, or maybe I'm looking at the wrong person. Uh, yeah. Someone has talked to here in Kinloss? I haven't, but I think they've been contacted. I'm not sure who by. 
Okay, well, anyways, we'll, we'll, endeavor, we'll, we'll confirm that that's been done. We'll get it declared surplus here in a minute if we can then. So the recommendation is that the half acre known as part lot 10, concession 8, in the municipality of Urin Kinloss, which is 2, 2344 Bruce Road 6, be declared surplus. Have a mover for that motion, moved by uh, David, second by Robert. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion? That's carried. Tender summary. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, before you is a summary of the tenders and quotations uh, uh, from the last time we brought a summary to you, and we would uh, uh, answer any questions. Read the recommendation that the warden and clerk be authorized to sign the following tender contract as per section 13.2.13 of the County of Bruce Purchase and Procurement Policy 17-13 combination plow and op operator 17-14 supply hall place hot mix Bruce Road 6 East C and F 17-15 supply hall Place Hot Mix Bruce Road 1. Any discussion on the motion? Or I'm sorry, we'll need a mover for the motion. Moved by Robert, second by Ann. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor of the motion? And that's carried. Anything else, Brian? <coughs> that's the end of the agenda, the written part. No, I think we've been very thorough. The committee's been very thorough. So the, yeah, that's for sure. So anyways, the next meeting is September the 21st, 2017. We'll have a motion to adjourn. Moved by Ann, second by Robert. All those in favor, we're adjourned. Thank you.